my top six moisturizers to wear with retinol. I'm Laura Ray, and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite moisturizers that help when you're wearing a vitamin A product. I've worn some type of vitamin A product pretty much since I was a teenager, about 13. I had severe acne, so I went to a dermatologist. I've been under the care of a dermatologist since the fifth grade. So that's a long time. I've had so many types of retinols, retinals, retinaldehyde that I've used on my skin. So I want to share with you, because that's a big question. Usually when we use some type of vitamin A product, there could be redness. I've had that. You may also have severe dryness, even lots of flaking, irritation. I've had all of those. So today I want to share with you these moisturizers that I use to help me from having that experience. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you my top one for daytime and for nighttime, so stay tuned. But all of these are great, and you might find one you think is better to meet your needs. We're going to start off with a brand new favorite of mine, and it's from Merit Beauty. It's their Merit Great Skin Priming Moisturizer. One of the reasons I love this so much is it plays well under makeup. I wear makeup pretty much every day, and I also want to say it plays well under sunscreen. Sunscreen is the last product I apply before I apply makeup. Some moisturizers are just too much when I'm combining sunscreen and then my makeup turns into a slip and slide. This is a very light formula. It sinks quickly into the skin. I love the packaging, first of all, that it has a pump. It's very easy to use. I only use about a pea size amount, which is really what's recommended for using on your face as a moisturizer. Also, this just spreads beautifully. It has oat extract, glycerin in it. It just is the perfect moisturizer for me, for what I like. I don't like anything very heavy in the morning under my makeup, just like I said, because of sunscreen and all the layers that I'm putting on. So this just works perfectly and keeps my skin hydrated all day. The next moisturizer I want to share with you is a great replacement. It's been called, because the ingredients are so similar, to Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, which is very pricey. This is much more affordable. It's geared towards dry or very dry skin. I don't have very dry skin, but sometimes my skin's dry, and this is so moisturizing. It's Paula's Choice replenishing moisturizer. Now this has hyaluronic acid in it, peptides in it. It says it smooths wrinkles. Well, it really does in the fact that when your skin is dried out, your wrinkles are going to look so much worse. It's not going to get rid of wrinkles, but it definitely is going to give you a smoother look. I've used this for a long time, three or four years, and it really is my go-to when my skin gets very dry. I find this is excellent, especially for the fall and winter. A new favorite of mine is from Kiehl's. When it was my birthday in July, Ulta gifted me this Ultra Facial Cream from Kiehl's. Now, I was already a huge fan of their avocado eye cream. I have used that up pretty much, and I'm ordering another one. This is delicious. I love it. I love the way it sinks in my skin. It says that it gives you 72 hours of hydration. I don't know about that, but it definitely really hydrates my skin. It says it repairs the skin barrier in an hour. So that's wonderful. I could see where if someone had uh, irritated skin and they put this on, they would feel better instantly. It felt that way on my skin. If you're looking for something that will play well under makeup, then I think this Kiehl's is such a find. 
I talked about this one from Vichy a long time ago, and boy, did I get some feedback. People telling me that's not a moisturizer. Well, a lot of dermatologists consider this Vichy Mineral 89 a moisturizer, and so does Vichy. On their site, they call it a moisturizer. A lot of people think of this more as just a serum or hyaluronic acid but it is wonderful for those of us that don't want anything heavy on our face. Again, this is so hydrating. I use it in the under eyes, just all over. My skin just drinks it in. I especially love this in the summer when I don't want anything heavy on my face, but even now I'm enjoying it. It's more something I would apply in the daytime because I like thin formulas in the daytime but this can be used as a first step in your skincare routine. So you could use it like you would uh, cleanse your face, then put this on, and then another moisturizer if you would like, or if you don't have very dehydrated or dry skin, just use it as a lightweight moisturizer. Recently in my video, Five Miracle Products, I will link that video too in the description along with the products I'm speaking about today. I spoke about Prequel. This is an amazing brand started by Sam Ellis. She's a dermatologist and I bought her product that is a balm. It's a utility balm. I love using it everywhere. Cuticles, eyes, face, knees, feet, everywhere. Well, she also has a skin utility gel. This is perfect, again, for the morning time for a lightweight moisturizer. It's fragrance-free. If you're looking for fragrance-free, allergy-tested, suitable for all skin types, I think this is fantastic. It is a gel with 20% glycerin in it, which really helps to hydrate the skin. It also contains a vitamin B complex, including niacinamide. So that's in it, and a bioactive soothing complex, she says, that helps reduce irritation and redness. I'm all over that. Also, Dr. Ellis says if you have very dry skin, then she would recommend using this and then going on top of it with a moisturizer. This is lightweight, beautiful on the skin. Her products are just out of sight. They are off the chain. I'm sure her brand is going to take off because they're affordable. She gives you quite a bit of product in everything that you buy. And everything I've bought so far, which is maybe seven or eight products, have been top notch. Before we get to my favorite daytime and nighttime moisturizer, I just want to say I owe so much to La Roche-Posay. I've used many of their products from the Tolerain line for so long because they are just quality products. I think this is somewhere in between a day and a night moisturizer. I did want to mention that this does have uh, ceramides in it and also uh, niacinamide. Some people have reactions to niacinamide and some of the products have that. So if you do get reactions to that, just I wanted to put that out there. But this, the thermal water in it is just wonderful. I like that this isn't too thin, not too thick, but it sinks in so quickly. Look how it's not like holding on to my hand as far as seeing gloopy kind of stuff going on here. It goes on so smoothly. Their products just instantly, because of the thermal water, you feel so hydrated. I just love La Roche-Posay. Their face wash, everything that I've bought has been wonderful. This one, it says repairs your skin barrier again within an hour. So if you're having real sensitivities, then I think this one is just great. And they say it provides up to 48 hours of hydration. Depending what vitamin A product I'm using, because I switch it up, I try different things, I get different reactions. I might not get a reaction for two or three days, and then I notice all of a sudden this patchiness of flakes. 
So when I see that, I always go in with some kind of moisturizer so that my skin will not look like a flaky mess. I just want to say I love all six of these. I really wouldn't want to be without any of them. I switch it up and use different ones, but I had to come up with two. So my daytime choice is going to be Merit. From the minute I used this, it felt amazing on my skin. My skin felt so relaxed and calm. I couldn't believe it. I really wasn't expecting to like it this much. It's just absolutely wonderful. I like how quickly it goes into my skin, yet my skin never feels dry during the day. So it does work great as a primer when I use this. I don't use any makeup primer on my skin, so that eliminates a step. So I have to go with the Merit. For nighttime, I have to go with Paula's Choice. It just is the perfect weight. It's not too heavy. Some moisturizers that I've heard recommended are just too heavy for my skin and they actually irritate me even when they're not supposed to irritate me. And it's not too thin. I feel it on my skin in the morning. My skin still feels moisturized even though we're running a paddle fan, running the air conditioner, all these things that usually dry my skin out. I've used this and repurchased it for a long time, and it's still a favorite. Let me know in the comments your favorite moisturizer for your face, even if you don't use vitamin A. I wish I had known all this when I was a kid because I suffered with such peeling and redness all the time. My skin always looked like a train wreck. So putting a moisturizer on after retinol has just been life-changing for my skin. Everything again is listed in the description of the video. Thank you for the thumbs up, for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the ways that you support my channel. I love you all. Have a beautiful week and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.